Well, hello friends. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Melody and welcome to my Simple Valley home. In today's video, I wanted to share with you guys somewhere special, somewhere magical and just every girl's dreams, plants and fall decor. So Lanahan Nursery provides that every year when they bring out all their fall decor. So I'm going to be sharing you guys all my favorite finds here in the shop and then I'm going to be taking you guys into the greenhouse at the end of this video. So stay tuned. Lanaha Nursery is located at 192nd and Center. What started on 1974, a one building operation turned into 700 acres here in Omaha, Nebraska. If you live here in the local area, you know who Lanaha Nursery is and what quality they bring here as far as plants and home decor. When I walked in, I was immediately drawn to these beautiful orange dried leaf pumpkins. I just love the texture that it brings to this space, especially them stacked on top of each other. It just looks so effortless and cozy and it definitely brought those fall feels. I'm gonna have to come back and pick out a couple for my fall decor because they are absolutely gorgeous. Just like Prairie and Bloom, Lana Hall always has the best silk flowers. I usually come here for those pieces, especially when it comes to their fall decor. They also have some unique finds and really amazing wood elements. This wood cutting board was absolutely one of my favorite pieces here in the shop. It would be perfect in your kitchen as a backdrop or even near your coffee station. They also have beautiful vessels and propagations for all your plants as well. So anytime I go shopping, I'm always on the hunt for inspiration. And even if it's out of my price range, I use that and I take it with me and I try to find the cheaper DIY version of it, such as these beautiful gold pheasants. I absolutely love them. They're almost like they're rub and buffed. They are on the pricey side, but I'm gonna try to see if I can find a cheaper version at Hobby Lobby or even on Amazon. One popular item I have been seeing this year for fall are these acorns. I've been seeing them all over at Home Goods. I saw some at Hobby Lobby and now here at Atlanta Haw Nursery. They're very inexpensive. They're that perfect element to add to the middle of your tablescape along with your pumpkins and leaves. I would even take the biggest one and add it on top of your books in your living room on your table. Let me know guys if you have seen these all over. Leave a comment down below.
I always get so excited to come here whenever they have all their foliage out for the season. Spring is definitely my top one and then second to that is fall. They always have the best florals. These are absolutely breathtaking. I could not get enough how unique and different they are. The purple like plum purple mix with the gold so just like Perry and Bloom, I gather just a couple stems here and there. Ones that I can't live without because they are on the pricey side because they are real silk flowers. I like to mix them in with my Hobby Lobby and Joanne pieces. It gives it just that like a little bit more realistic element and you're not really, you're doing more of a budget friendly shopping versus you buying all of them silk flowers. Moving over to the everyday home decor department, I'm going to be taking you guys through and showing you a couple of my favorite vignettes in this space. They always have all the seasonal decor just sprinkled through here. It gives you just that touch of feel and inspiration to know how to style each piece in your everyday decor. So even though this is your everyday home decor, I always take inspiration to use for my seasons. And one of them was definitely this wicker container. It was so pretty. It was $52. It was on the pricey side, but the size of it is definitely well worth than you going to get a real antique and an antique mall. That would be probably easily $100. My second favorite were these balls. They were definitely fun. They kind of gave me those blue and white balls that I got at Goodwill, only like the plaid version. I'm going to keep my eye out and see if I can find ones that are a little bit more cheaper. But usually the one item that I like to come here is their vessels and also their propagation just because they are a nursery and you're going to find some quality pieces to use for your plants here. So when I'm shopping in the home decor department, they always stop me in my tracks with their plants because I thought this snake plant was real. I could not get enough how realistic it looked. It was a little on the pricey side, but it would be for that perfect person who's not a green thumb enthusiast, someone who has pets. And 
if you don't want to have to worry about it when you go on vacation. This lily is another prime example. I think it's a lily. Let me know if I'm wrong. Leave a comment down below. But look how giant this bush is for under $20 and it was like perfectly placed in this basket. So it gave you an idea to put it like near your fireplace mantle or entryway. Speaking of baskets, these scallop trays were another one of my favorites. They were giving me Suri and Lily and Pottery Barn buys but for the fraction of the cost. Let me know, guys, if you like to shop small shops, little boutiques. If you have one in town that you're absolutely supportive and you just want to support those small shops in your town, leave a comment down below. <music> Moving over to the final department before we head into the greenhouse and that is the floral department. They had a lot more florals this year sprinkled onto the main floor but most of them are held here along with the wreaths. So I'm going to be sharing with you guys my favorite stems along with my favorite wreaths in this department. Out of all the stems, this definitely was my favorite one. It had like almost like a dry texture to it. It was like almost like a muted gold green tone. My next favorite was this spider mum. It was kind of like a rubbery finish and it looks so real. I have seen this at, at home, but these were bigger like stock florals. And then this was definitely one of my favorites as well. I thought it would be perfect just to add as so into that perfect vessel just to create like a dry look without being very messy and I love the amber tones and I'm always a sucker for pine cones and these are so fun I like that they're rubbery so they look real and you don't have to worry about them breaking when you store them <music> And finally, the last stop, the greenhouse. This space is a place for relaxation, a space to unwind, and even just look around and enjoy what Mother Nature has to bring with us. I love coming here with my girlfriends and we just walk around and we just have a great time together. Thank you. 
I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for coming along with me and fall shopping here at Lanaha Nursery. This space is definitely a place that holds close to my heart just as much as antiquing. I love that I was able to share this special place with you guys. I will leave their information in the description box down below. So if you're ever in the local Omaha area, I definitely recommend for you to come and visit this beautiful place. Let me know which item was your favorite and also let me know which part of the greenhouse was your favorite. Leave a comment down below. We still have lots of fall shopping and also my haul to come. So hit that subscribe button so you get that bell notification for future videos. I will see you guys in the next one. Have a great weekend. Bye friends.